dark roots. Blam blam hair. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I'm not feeling it at all. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Um, in case you're wondering, it's um, second video that I recorded in the same day, so hence same shirt. And by the way, it's my San Juan Puerto Rico shirt. Yes, I am Puerto Rican and I could barely roll my R's. Anyway, so yeah, um, I wanted to go ahead and record two videos for the week because I'm going to do something with this hair and I don't know if I'm going to look like Bozo the Clown and have like 500 different colors in my hair. So give me enough time to actually try to fix it before I record again. Anyway, with that said, can we talk about this? Let's talk about this. What is up with my hair? Let me tell you. Oh my god, I was trying to get some hair motivation and I actually liked a picture from Luxster Lux, Lux, I'm saying her name right, um, how she had her dark roots in her blonde hair and it looks so pretty on her and I don't know if because my hair is shorter or that I'm a type of person that once I see roots going in, I have to attack it with dye and cover it up quick and I don't know if that's my problem with this hair right now because I see so much of it and from my hair not being black being this light will always make my roots look super dark when they're not my hair is just brown it is not black but it looks black with this hair Ugh. so I actually had it highlighted and that's where you see all the lighter blondes as here and I do that at home. I don't go anywhere to do it. So, yeah, I did it. And I used a 40 developer with um, the packet of bleach, the cap, pull it out, whatever. And, yeah, I thought that if I did enough highlights, it will not show so many roots. But, yeah, no, it didn't work. I'm, I, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I, I'm, I'm definitely not feeling it. I can't. I am so used to not seeing roots when I do have my hair light that when I do see it, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm walking around with roots. I have 500 different colors in my hair. Oh my God, pick a color. That's me in my head. So, oh, and by the way, don't look at my nails. My nails suck big time. They're chipped, they're chapped, they're chippity chapped. <sighs> but I forgot to buy nail polish remover. So just work with me and pretend you didn't see these ugly bad boys, okay? All right, anyway, so I went to a Walgreens to purchase some stuff for my hair because I cannot deal with this hair. I cannot deal with this hair anymore. So I decided to buy me a dye, and now um, I've used this one before. I was trying to get my Garnier one, but I didn't want to lighten up the rest of my hair that's lighter just to lighten up the dark part because the, the gardening that I use for darker hair will take like the darkest of hairs, even black, and change it to a lighter color. I didn't want to make the lightest part of it lighter. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get one solid color and since I know my roots always take faster than the rest of my hair, I decided to go with a regular dye. And this time I bought the Revlon Color Silk Beautiful Color in the color 57 which is lightest golden brown so yeah i think i will like this it looks like the color of my eyebrows and i love the color of my eyebrows so i'm gonna do this bad boy on my hair okay so i also went to sally's and just for one thing one little thing was to buy this bad boy here this adele red gold corrector plus this little thing here it's a color activate so what I'm going to do to ensure that I don't get brassiness from doing this box color, I will go ahead and put this whole entire content, which is not that much, it's just liquid, into the dye when I mix it together. So it'll be kind of purple. Don't be scared. It's not going to change the color of your dye at all. It's not. It's just going to ensure that you don't get any red or gold brassiness in your hair. So I will put this in here when I do it, and that will actually hopefully not make my hair brassy so i had to get those two and in walgreens back to walgreens i needed something to 
repair my hair because I am doing chemical process to my hair and what I loved that I bought before and it worked wonders for me and I had to repurchase it was the L'Oreal Total 5 Repair. I love this dammer, dammer, <laughs> damage eraser bomb. This is awesome. I love this. I love the way it smells. It's super thick. You just put this in your hair for like five minutes and then rinse it out and it does wonders. Now, would they claim to repair, repairs up to one year of damage in one use? N no, no it doesn't. But if you continually use this, and on a weekly basis, it will make your hair look super, super healthier than what you started off with, okay? What I also purchased in Walgreens was this Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Moroccan Slick Oil Treatment. That is a lot. That's a mouthful. Um, this is a new Moroccan Argan Oil for frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair. My hair is dry, super dry because it is chemically processed, processed, chemically processed, and yeah, it gets frizzy, especially with my hair. It doesn't look too, too bad now, but who am I kidding? It does look bad, but when it's curly, it looks even worse, so I always need to have an oil. Like I said in my empties video, I always have to have an oil in my hair after I wash it because it makes it sleeker, it get rid of the frizz. And I don't like to put a lot of product in my hair after I wash it. So, yeah, I found this since I couldn't find that Oregon oil that I purchased in Sally's. I got this in Walgreens, and yeah, it smells great. So hopefully, it works great. It smells okay, but I, I just need it to work. So I'll definitely put this in my hair when it's like 67% um, dry, but have still kind of damp in it. And damp in it. It still have a little bit of damp to it. I would apply this to the ends of my hair and distribute it around the rest. So, but I would definitely focus this more on my ends than anything. So yeah, I'm hoping this oil will work. Okay, last but not least, what I purchased. Oh, almost break my glass table. What I purchased in Walgreens also was this John Frieda Frizz East Moisture Barrier Firm Hold Hairspray. We all know from last year that I am addicted to this hairspray. I love this hairspray when it comes to the summer months because my hair is not going anywhere after I style it. I am a person that when I style my hair, I don't want to be able to keep touching it and moving around. No, it's done. It's set. Don't touch it. Don't touch my hair. Don't touch my hair. Leave it alone. Because my hair is so thin that if you touch my hair so much, it will just lay flat. And there goes the style that I worked all day on. So with this, I just style it, and it won't move at all. And I, I actually like that. I know a lot of people don't like that. They don't like that crunchy feeling in their hair. But I actually do for my summer months because I sweat so much, and my hair will just completely fall less than five minutes with the humidity. This is great for the humidity, and, yeah, I like it. I am going to purchase the full-size bottle. Yeah. So that was what I got for this hair to change this hair because I cannot deal with this dark roots light hair. I thought I did. I thought I would. But I can't. I'm sorry, people. I can't. And for those of you out there saying, oh, it looks good. Thank you. Thank you. But I can't. I can't. It's, it's, not, it's just not me. Even Bessie said it's not me. It, it's, it's not me. I tried. I, it's, it's not me. Anyway. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And like always people, I love each and every single one of you. Bye-bye. Wish me luck.